learning more tonight about a murder in Cecil County over the weekend. That's right, and the man charged with killing his own aunt. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the details of the crime. Jeff? Kelly, 25-year-old Jacob Michael Johnston has a lengthy criminal history, and much of it stems from his involvement with drugs. But this case represents a violent twist. She retired after 30 years with General Motors to this home on Augustine Herman Highway in Elkton. And 60-year-old Karen Colclaw cherished spending time with her family. Then late last week, her phone suddenly went silent. Family and, uh, had not heard from her for some time. They responded out to her residence to do a welfare check. And upon them arriving at her home, they observed her uh, unresponsive and gave us a call right away. According to charging documents, when police arrived on Sunday morning, they found Colclaw lying face down on the floor of her kitchen in a pool of blood. They also discovered a bloody baseball bat and shovel lying side by side on a bed, a bottle of bleach, which had apparently been poured over the victim's body, and there was evidence someone had ransacked the house looking for cash or valuables. Since then, they've been investigating um, friends, family, and residents in the area that have uh, led to an arrest. Uh, the suspect in custody is indeed her uh, nephew. Um, State police investigators at this time still uh, don't know the motive. Court records suggest the victim had texted her brother claiming 25-year-old Jacob Michael Johnston had showed up at Cole Claw's home three days earlier asking for money and a place to stay because he was apparently homeless and had just gotten out of jail. She went on to say she was trying to get rid of him, but it now appears he may have killed her that very same day. According to court documents, Johnston also stole his aunt's Cadillac and picked up his girlfriend that same day, claiming it was a rental. She would later tell investigators they drove it to Philadelphia to pawn some jewelry, and he left it there, wiping it down before getting a ride back to Elkton. Uh -huh.